stressful job can cause cancer. All types of jobs have stress to a certain degree. Numerous factors cause work-related stress, which range from long hours to a lack of compensation. Researchers at Inners, Institut National de la Recherche Scientifique, and the Université de Montréal suggest prolonged exposure to work-related stress, linked to certain types of cancers in men. The study, published in Preventative Medicine, 2017, found an increased likelihood of lung, colon, rectal, stomach cancer, and non-Hodgkin lymphoma. These cancers are more in people who are working more than 15 to 30 years. Also in people who held four or more jobs, some holding more than 12 jobs throughout their careers. In the U.S., prostate cancer is the leading cancer for men, followed by lung cancer, colorectal cancer, bladder, and melanoma. Long-term stress, or chronic stress, promotes the growth and spread of some forms of cancer. In other words, stress makes the body more susceptible to cancer. Stress can weaken the immune system, and make the body vulnerable to many diseases. The researchers also found stress is not limited to high workload and time constraints. Customer service, sales commissions, responsibilities, an anxious temperament, job insecurity, financial problems, challenging or dangerous work conditions, employee supervision, interpersonal conflict, and a difficult commute were all sources of stress listed by the participants. Stressful jobs included being an industrial engineer, aerospace engineer, vehicle and railway equipment repair worker, mechanic supervisor, and firefighter. Work-related stress and cancer not found in participants who held stressful jobs for less than 15 years. The study shows the importance of measuring stress at different points in an individual's working life. The researchers reviewed about 3,100 cases of cancer diagnosed from 1979 to 1985. Psychological stress can affect mental, physical, or emotional states, whether triggered by work or not. In a 2011 study, women with triple negative breast cancer who had been treated with chemotherapy were asked about their use of beta blockers medications that interfere with certain stress hormones before and during chemotherapy. Those who used beta blockers had a better chance of surviving their cancer treatment without a relapse than women who did not use beta blockers. There is some data that suggests cancer patients can develop a sense of helplessness or hopelessness when stress becomes overwhelming. There's little evidence that stress directly affects cancer outcomes or leads to cancer. We all experience psychological stress to a degree. But those of us who experience high levels of stress could be more susceptible to certain diseases, including cancer. Thank you.